Hey, how's it guys? Today's episode, Grant will be showing us how he makes Aji Fry and Poo Poo style bone chips. So stick around. It's about that time of year again when the Hallelu or Big Eye Scads begin to show up. We're out early trying our luck. Stay on grand. I'm using a classic Hallelu green strip color and red bead. For real, yeah. But Grant, he's using a clear color strip with a small yellow bead. And he's catching about four fish to my every one fish. So I think it's time to switch colors. Oh. Freaking clear. Yeah. Oh, that's a good size one, yeah? Here, yeah, I see. Oh, oh. oh, a little yellow bead, yeah? Mm. Yup, the clear strips with the little yellow bead was really working that day. As soon as I switch colors, we're on. Grand, the yellow, you instant, yeah? Huh? Beautiful hallelujah. So fresh, clean, gorgeous looking fish, even better tasting. I'll just ice this down and go get some more. Oh, they him, Grant. They him right there, Grant. The Hallelu school is constantly moving. So as we're catching them, we are assessing the current water depth and distance from shore. Deep. Grant, deep too, Grant, deep. Deeper. Grant just caught a nice size halalu to make sashimi. We'll be enjoying it for a quick lunch pretty soon. The bite seemed a little better earlier in the week. Grant was able to sun dry a couple dozen halalu, which we are now continually snacking on this morning. The coolers are slowly filling up. We just need a couple more fish to be able to share with some friends tonight. It's like dozen right now. Nice. By now, it's about 11 o'clock, and we're starting to get hungry. Grant will be preparing a seaside lunch of freshly caught halalu sashimi, accompanied by a bowl of sushi rice, which was made earlier this morning before we left. The sushi rice was made with four cups of premium Japanese short grain sushi rice, cooked in four cups of filtered water, one cup of rice wine vinegar, four tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of sea salt. The halalu is first scaled, then gutted. The head is removed. Doing these steps ensure a clean fillet. An incision is made on both sides of the vertebrae. The fillet is then skinned. Remember, a sharp knife is key during this process. The halalu have a thin, translucent layer above the pigmented skin. 
that needs to be removed. But don't throw it away. There is many good uses for it. I can share at a future episode. The center bloodline, which holds many pin bones, is removed, but not discarded. We will be taking it home to be eaten a separate way. Pretty much, we didn't waste anything on this fish. Even the head we took home to be used as fishing bait to catch larger fish. As we're taking a break, the Honolulu school is still biting. We were fortunate to catch enough fish that we can enjoy now for a quick lunch and also to be able to share with a few friends this evening. The fillets are sliced diagonally into pieces. Grant served them over a bed of slightly warm sushi rice. Unfortunately, my camera died and I wasn't able to film us eating this delicious lunch. But I assure you, it tasted so good. The fish couldn't have been any fresher. Please stick around for tonight's dinner special. And here we are later this evening. Grant went ahead and butterflied the halalu. He cut the head off remove the spine, being careful to leave the two fillets attached by the tail. He also used a needle nose plier to remove any pin bones. The butterfly fish is first lightly dredged in seasoned all-purpose flour, then dipped in an egg wash. Lastly, it's dipped in a furakake panko breadcrumb. Delicious. Super easy to make. Panko or Japanese style breadcrumbs is combined with furakake powder, which is a type of rice seasoning. The fish dredging process continued until a mound of fish was formed. Wow. Now that the main dish is almost ready, it's time for the appetizer. Remember, the butterflying process removes the fish's backbone. Do not throw it away. Simply salt the bones with sea salt and let it drain on a paper towel. This process works well with any kind of small fish. The key is to dry out the bones as much as possible before frying. Mm -hmm. In a deep dish cast iron skillet, Grant added oh, yeah, grapeseed nice. oil. We were using grapeseed oil because it's all we had. It's considered one of the most neutral tasting oils, and it has a high smoking point. The downside, it's pricey. We would have preferred to use peanut oil, but the grapeseed oil actually did a great job. It produced a crispy and tasty fish. If you want to try it, we say go ahead. Once the oil reached 350, we added the bones. Be careful of the oil splatter. Turn the bones frequently. You're looking for a light golden brown color. You know, style. Yeah. And now for the taste test. These appetizers were so good. They tasted like a hot, fresh, crispy fish flavor chip. The entire thing was edible. <laughs> Real nice. There was some beer. Oh. oh! As fast as we are frying them, we are devouring them. You guys gotta try this recipe, it's so good. It, it, it can see, um, and now for the main course, like, Aji Fry. 350 oh, grapeseed oil, deep animal fry animal. until golden brown. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys, look at this fish. So hot, look how delicious this looks. Yeah, 
crispy, golden, delicious. Take a bite of that. Oh, I think gotta take one bite. Ooh. Take a bite of that, boys. Boys? Nice boys, fish. That's like the best fish. It's like the best fish sticks. Yeah. The golden. Wow, let me see that golden. Oh. Holy katsu, yeah. Katsu. I'm gonna actually get some katsu sauce too. What? Now Grant is adding katsu sauce to the fried fish. If you don't have katsu sauce at home, you can simply add one cup of ketchup. Half a cup of soy sauce, one oh. tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, or two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Mix that up and that'll give you homemade katsu sauce. Look at that fish, would you? Oh wow, that's very funny. delicious. The coating of it alone is just amazing. Crispy yeah, coating. Sure. Here's some of the dried halalu that we'll be serving as well. A few friends are showing up. Dinner is almost ready. Here we have it. Grant's Fresh Furukake Panko Aji Fry served with hot steamed rice, grilled veggies, and a tossed salad. What a great dinner served with awesome company. Until next time.